Hello there, my students. It's me, Mr. Weaver. I hope you're having a great day. Um, so tonight I'm going to have you finish the body notes for the essay. Okay. So you did, um, hopefully by now, you've done a label for each state. A label is just a word. Okay. And then you are putting down the quotes for each of the three stages that you have determined. Now, you know, as I was doing Benjamin, here's my Benjamin one. I finished it. I had indifference and skepticism. And really, there's there's this moment where he has this horror, okay, when they are taking Boxer to the Knackers. Horror. And that's kind of its own little stage, but instead of creating that one little stage and trying to make four stages, I kind of put it in with the end of the novel, and I said it's disgust. Okay, so I had to do some thinking. Again, you have to do some thinking. What in your character or your character type what are the stages going on? And it's hard to know until you read to the end. I had to read to the end again. And looking at that, I decided that disgust was the best label for Benjamin in the last uh, three or so chapters of the book. Here are some quotes. Slowly and with an air almost of amusement, Benjamin nodded his long muzzle. This is happening when they're about to blow up the windmill. And really, that's kind of a nice transition from skepticism into disgust. He, you can see this air of amusement. He's disgusted with kind of what's happening, and but he's kind of amused because of the disbelief he had in the windmill from the first place, that everything would just kind of go on the way it always does. Um, and then he says, I thought, so you do see what they are doing. In another moment, they are going to pack blasting powder into that hole. It's like it's very matter of fact. So he's disgusted. But then we have this. It was the first time they had ever seen Benjamin excited. Indeed, it was the first time that anyone had ever seen him gallop. This is when he's freaking out when they're taking Boxer to the Knackers to die. And then the end of the book in chapter 10, it says, Only, oops, I did that twice. Only old Benjamin was much the same as ever, except more morose and taciturn than ever. Sad and not talking. Taciturn means he doesn't talk. It's a good vocab word. So... Here I have a structure for the body of my paper. The structure is my first point, my first stage in difference, and here's some, here's some quotes to back that up, and then I would add my own words, my commentary to do that. Then we have the second stage and my quotes to back it up. I would add commentary. Remember, I'm writing an essay. Third stage, discussed, and then I would write some commentary and use these quotes to support my idea. Here is my thesis statement that I've created. I could have written it many ways. Benjamin changes subtly in Animal Farm in his attitude from indifference to skepticism to disgust. Okay, It's a very simple thesis statement for an informative essay where you're just informing the different stages of a character or a character type. So I hope that's helpful to you. So your job by Tuesday is to have this the rest of the way filled out. I'd like you to finish with the, the last label. Give it a label. Uh, write down some quotes of what's going on in chapters 9 to 10, or it could be 8, 9, and 10. And then write yourself a thesis statement. Mrs. Bull will then be uh, creating a, another document for you to kind of take these quotes, take these um, labels and stuff, and create um, a, an outline so that you can then write your essay this week. If you go directly from this into writing your essay, that's fine. You don't have to do... Uh, that outline, but she is going to put it there, and a lot of you would like to use that, and I'd highly recommend it. So uh, please keep in touch. Email me if you have uh, questions. Hopefully these are helpful little screencasts, and you are watching them.